Good afternoon, traders. Joseph here from ACAP. So, um, obviously, you would uh, you would know what this uh, update is about. I'm definitely planning to originally just do a single market update, but um, yeah, the Bank of Japan has definitely come in and uh, really rattled a few cages with a surprise uh, bond buying program, which has really rattled the risk markets to the Japanese yen, as it also has rattled some uh, in markets so where um the big move was driven from was um governor kuroda has shocked uh, by basically changing the bank of japan's yield cap and this sparked the jump in the yen they also announced an unscheduled bond buying operation and increased the amounts of outright purchases of the japanese government bonds and there are some details on there about the exact amounts uh, of what they are going to purchase now this has definitely sent a you know, massive rocket up the yen and it's also it has hit other markets in different ways and we'll go over that in one moment so from a risk point of view we've seen some very sharp losses um, against from the risk majors to the japanese yen we can see the aussie still trading 3.3 you know four percent lower the euro is trading you know 2.67 percent lower the, Jap the yen is trading 2.74 five percent lower and the dollar is trading you know 2.70 percent lower uh, it's also had a bit of an impact on stock futures we can see the german 30 is one percent lower the us 30 is close to a 0.6 percent lower the asx is currently one 1.13% lower and the Japanese uh, the Nikkei with the Japanese stock market has actually stopped trading it went futures went limit down so we'll have to wait and see when they come back online after the sudden plunge that was seen after the announcement uh, we're seeing the Hong Kong 50 at the moment 1% lower and uh, the S&P is 0.73% lower and the Nasdaq is close to 1% lower it's 0.94% so looking forward We'll need to see how um, this is digested in Europe and New York tonight and uh, if it is seen as um, having some real long-term effects um, we can see from some of these pairs you know the risk currency pairs we can see some of the sh you know really immense moves lower you know moves lower so we can see here on the uh, Aussie to the yen for instance you know a, a lot of uh, you know a lot of downward pressure now it's smashed through this uh, demand and support area that we saw and we're all the way back down to levels you know not seen really since uh, much earlier in the year on you know back in May and definitely that trend you know if this was distribution we're seeing here you definitely think that it could be started to be confirmed as a new downtrend now and just looking over at um, some of the other pairs the yen for instance we've wiped out the entire gain that we saw and we're now trading back at levels not you know really that support level that we saw back formed on the second of the 12th which runs back to the 11th of the 10th and we're going to see if this selling does continue and blows through that and then really showing that this trend could be um, starting to break as well and the yen sorry to the yen to the the great britain pound uh, we can see a break through that support level here and a move back to that level that started that that real drive forward which was back on the uh, 12th of the 10th and again we're just gonna have to see now what happens with um the European markets this afternoon and the uh, US markets later and how they're digesting this so this has really just started a new leg on the dollar yen so this trend looks to be it looks to be a bit more of a correction at the moment it could be you know that 50 percent point is possibly around this level so we'll see if we do see more falls later if that you know level is reached around that 130 173 area and um, it definitely looks like a good you know medium term downtrend is in play now so again will we see further breaks lower uh, this afternoon we'll be tuning in to see uh, the London session and the New York session to see if we have more carry through so in regards to um, some of the stock markets we wonder if this is just a bit of a short-term shock uh, if we will see a bit of a pullback or if we are seeing you know more sellers are definitely in control at the moment so will this be another reason to see further declines on some of the stock indices later today um, we can see these fresh moves lower today at the moment now on an interesting note obviously with you know gold is still holding some of its gains uh, it does see demand in times of crisis and this is definitely a bit of a time of crisis um, it's a good old-fashioned uh, 
market shake out. Uh, we did see one similar a uh, little bit earlier in the year with the pound, and this is definitely in, you know the same in the same uh, division of that for sure. Uh, with some of the falls we've seen, especially from the uh, risk currencies and the majors to the yen. But looking at cryptos, this will be a little qu a quick intel. Cryptos don't seem to be phased at all by this. It's quite uh, quite interesting. And normally when risk markets come off. Cryptos can follow suit, but we are seeing cryptos holding firm at the moment and we're actually showing some decent gains um, for once in a while. We're, so we're seeing, you know, Litecoin trading a bit higher. We're seeing a nice move on uh, AVA as well. So they look to be unaffected at the moment and we'll see if that can carry forward with this demand that's coming back into the market at this stage. But definitely the everything and eyes are all on the Japanese yen and how this will be seen and treated as we move into the key market um, sessions of uh, Europe, London and New York tonight. So definitely keep an eye on uh, the yen pairs going into the London session tonight and um, also keep an eye on some of the stock futures as well to see if we possibly do have seen an overreaction and we do see a buyback or if we do see further declines based on new set, you know, maybe new sentiment, you know, coming in to take over the market. So definitely the um, Aussie yen is one to watch and the dollar yen is one to watch as well. But the Aussie yen has really been uh, destroyed today and um, we can see that move down here. That's a really a very, very big fall for the Aussie yen in uh, any language, especially for Forex when you're talking about a three, you know, over 3% fall in you know a couple of hours, uh, well under two hours on a currency pair. So that's it for today's update. Thank you very much for your time. Keep an eye on the end tonight and uh, until Friday's report, have a fantastic week and good trading and bye for now.